Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to add a chart into your document using Titan Warden and Titan Web. Okay, so say this, say we have a document here and let's say we want to bring, say in a table, we want to bring um, opportunity that belongs to a certain account. So we will say, let's first bring in a simple field and we'll say, um, bring me the account name let's say say account data and I'll say insert let's just name this thing say cool now let's bring in some opportunity info I'll do it in a table and I'll say, I want to grab it from the opportunity and say, up table. I will say, let's say product name. Let's just say opportunity name. And we'll say stage. And what else can we bring? And let's say close it. Okay, very simple table. And now let's say we want to bring some dashboard together with the amount or something nice here. So let me just uh, scooch down a little and I'll show you how you can get this done with beautiful dashboards from Titan Web. Okay, so we'll say insert image. And what it will give us is option to bring it from a web. So that will, can bring you advanced dashboards from using Titan Web. And here you can select any web project that you have. And here it will let you select a page and we'll talk about the viewport and the width and height of the component itself. So let's configure something in Titan Web. So I have here simple web project. Um, what we can do is just drag the chart here. Now notice that I'm just gonna just drop it here. Notice where it's placed. So here it's in the second strip, blah, blah, blah. And we basically need to tell the, the word and in the image, where is it placed in the, the web project. Um, notice for this to work, you have to turn off the responsive AI. That's why it's many times better to use a dedicated uh, page for it or a dedicated project specifically for that. In this instance, let's add a new page. And I'll just give it a blank and we'll do a, let's say a donut. And let's bring in opportunity info. 20 records is fine. Right now I'm not going to pass in any condition just like that. Y axis I'll say name and here I'll say amount. Not let's do a stage. Cool and let's do this. Okay, that's pretty much okay. And don't need it so big. It's perfect. And I'll save it. Notice that it has to be published. Responsive AI is off. And let's just make sure we get some data. Let's preview the second page. And we have some data. Very nice. Now let's head back to our document. And I'll show you how to tie this all together in just a moment. And we'll insert the image. And we'll say web and page two. And the viewport technically zero, zero, since that's the whole page. Let's do with, I don't know, 600. Height could be 400. And we could do the same just like we have over there. Just see the size and that will be fine. Um, okay, so we have some account data here, and I'll say account ID equals to, let's do other, and let's grab something from Salesforce. This is just to preview the document. 
and I'll hit save, save my condition. And opportunity ID, I'll say count ID equals first one. And I will say count ID, save, save condition, and preview. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we have our table and we got no chart. The reason for this is that we didn't configure uh, the chart and the web project correctly. Let me show you how you should get this done. So we'll head over to user access and what we want to do is turn on doc gen access. So our document generation can access the, uh, the chart. Another important thing to understand what this does and I'll head back to my chart. Let's go over to content, edit mapping. And now if I'll go to the condition, notice this. So I ran this without no conditions. I just let it rip. What you want to do here typically is filter it by something. So let's say here I'm filtering. I'm saying, give me all the opportunities that belong to that account. So similarly to this, I want to get in this chart only these opportunities that belong to this account that we've passed to the record ID here. So we only want to get opportunities for edge C in this instance. So I'll head over here and I'll say my account ID very, very similar to what I've done for that table equals to field. And once you turn on doctrine access, you will get this and you will get doctrine record ID. And here we can set the account ID. I'll hit apply and save. Now let's get back and preview. We did not publish. So again, very, very important to publish the project. So once we published and we'll hit preview. And there it is. So we got our stage and we got everything else. So we have two stages here, close one. Three, we have two stages here, close one and decision makers. And this is what we get in the donut chart, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now you can tie this to you run it from Salesforce, you can run it from anywhere else. So the point is to understand that you could use. So for instance, I could remove the conditions now. So I'll head over here and remove it. So it will just bring me any 20 opportunities I got because it has no conditions. But the point is you want it to match your conditions in the, in the doctrine. So once you allow doctrine access, you'll get, you'll be able to pass the record ID from the doctrine um, from the, the main record ID from the doctrine that you have. So if we'll head over to publish, so let's publish this guy. And let's say I want to tie this to, uh, I want to tie it to, uh, to Salesforce. So let's run this real quick. And I'll say count ID equals record ID. And let's head over to the opportunity table data. And I'll say account ID equals to my account ID. So any opportunities I got on that account will show on the table. And this is exactly what we want for the, for the uh, chart. And let's publish this and I'll say um, document with web chart. Perfect. Now let's head over to that guy and I'll go to document generation, word mapping, and I'll say Salesforce button. Everything is set up perfectly. Let me just give myself access. 
So my account users collaborator and form. I want to be able to submit this thing. So we'll go read and submit. Hit finish. Just make sure my settings are aligned. Hit apply. That's perfect. Let's head over to Edge and I'll say FD generate document. And document with chart. Let's preview this. So I'm not going to generate, I'm just going to run the preview. Okay, while that loads, let's just make sure that right now it's just going to pull up any 20 opportunities. So what we want to do here in order for us to get that record ID then we have to pass in the the record ID that we, we got from the document generation. So just to reiterate, edit mapping, we're going to go back and we're going to say add a condition and we will say account ID, the opportunity account ID, and it could work with any object, with any relationship. You just want to make sure that the main record ID that you pass to the doc gen, this is the one that you're using for the chart. We will say equals Again, since we turn on document generation access, we will say doc gen record ID. We will say account ID, next, next, and apply. And then once we go ahead and hit preview, we will get the correct data for that account, just like so. And this is how it's done.